It's great. Uh, it's good. Mark's doing a good job. It's mainly just swallowing, just getting it out. Everything's good. So just to get the mobility back, and I'll be fine. Yeah. Um, no, I kind of they just kind of rested me on Sunday, and we don't do a lot of throwing anyway. So then yesterday was an off day, and I still I still gripped the ball, I held it, and just kind of walked around practice on Sunday. But um, yeah, I'll be I'll be good to go. I kind of gripped it down in the training room too, and we'll do another stuff. So I'll be I'll be good. Uh, I'd rather not. So I, I, I hope not, but we'll we'll see what what we have to do. But I don't, I don't think I'll have to do anything like that. Will we try anything this week in practice. Um, I'm sure Mark's gonna have some kind of tape or something, but um, hopefully that's just for practice. Does it hurt? Not really. Yeah, it's just really it's just kind of swollen. It's it's not too bad. Miles, as. Uh Poor, as you know, his record is. Is there any fear that um, I don't want to say the guys were past him, or but, but maybe not be up as mentally sharp as you should be, especially coming off the, the loss to Boise State? Oh yeah, there's there's no excuse to uh, to not be ready for this game because uh, you watch them on film and they. They have a whole bunch of athletes, just as my, just as many as we do, and you know they're really talented on both sides of the ball and special teams. And when they put it together, they're really something special. So we have to be uh, very ready for this game. Um, I think from a defensive defensive perspective, offensively they're they've got a lot of threats and they got a lot of athletes and playmakers and um, their offensive line does a pretty good job and they're big and uh, when they make a little seam, they've got athletes that can uh, that can run and do good things with the ball. So um, you know we need to be as prepared as possible and, and and mentally ready as possible for this game. Larry, what did you learn from playing against Boise State? That um, just staying focused every play because um, they ran pretty much a lot of plays that got open. So I feel like everybody should be on the same page at all times and, and stay focused because I think a couple of plays we let up and didn't focus all the way through and they capitalized on it. Yeah, they're uh, it's, it's kind of similar to what Miles said. You can see they got some talent, and, and uh, they, they 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 go out there and they hit. Man, I think they're they're a tough team and they got a tough defense, and it, it's really going to come down to us executing the game plan, and that's what it is every week. So I mean, we 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 can't really change much here or there, whether whether a team's record's good or bad. I mean, they're 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 all Division One football players, and they all get got scholarships for a reason. They're they're talented individuals, and. And they're going to go out there and give it their all. I'm sure it's their senior night and or something, and and so we just got to be ready to put our best foot forward too. Uh, Miles' coach was saying that uh, he talks to you guys every day, and it, it really has to do with perhaps being more businesslike as you approach the start of the game, not being wild and you know letting the emotions of the game kind of get away from you and really you, you know sort of focus down. And when you look at the second half defensive stats throughout the season, you guys are tremendous. It's the first half that kind of gets away from them. So what, so what do you do to focus for a game like this and make sure that doesn't happen? Yeah, it's kind of like you said. Coach Long every day is is preaching to us that we have to treat every every game the same. We have to treat every practice week the same. Every Everything we're doing, it has to be uh, 100% and nothing less. And it doesn't matter if it is Boise or if it's you know a team with, the, with not too great of a record. It, do, it doesn't matter who it is because it's all about us. It's all about how we train and how we prepare. And, uh, being mentally, physically ready for every game. Uh, Miles and Larry, the fact that you guys play so well in the second half, uh, and you found a reason for that? I mean, is Rocky making some great adjustments in the locker room at halftime, or are you guys just settling down after a, the first half of football? Um, both of you can comment on that. I feel like we start the game off not slow, but it's just we're not pretty much focused on everything, like I said earlier. But I don't know, I think guys are too excited and, and don't know how to hold that in and f force that towards the game. But 
I think we, we get more comfortable in the second half and, and figure out what the team does well and what they don't do well. But I think we could, we could focus and practice more and figure out how to fix it in the first half. Yeah, it's kind of like what Larry said. It's just once we do get settled down and, and once we get a feel for the game, it, we start playing better. And you know that's unacceptable. Unacceptable. It shouldn't be that way. Um, whether it, it's in practice or, or just mentally or whatever it is, everybody has to do whatever they have to do to, to get themselves mentally ready to start that way from, from the beginning and not just play off emotion, but be focused and, and do their job from snap to whistle every play.